did a video a while back on a, a DC to DC converter that was isolated. And it was this little part here. And uh, it is potted. So I thought uh, there'd be no way for me to open it up. There's chemicals and stuff you can use, but I don't like to do that stuff. So uh, I decided to go ahead and try to crack one open just to see if it, what, what I could see inside. And I just kind of started using a chisel and start chiseling off the uh, outside. And as it, as it, it turns out, this stuff's pretty brittle and it can flake off. So I was able to remove the PC board in the, uh, in the middle of this thing. So let me see if I can get focused on that. Reach back behind here. I've got a, I'm going to focus knob. There we go. Perfect. Um, so you can see here, it's uh, not very complicated inside. It's got the four pins, you know, input and output. Um, it has two transistors. This one got broken off when I opened it up. So it had a transistor here and had one here, had some capacitors, has a diode here. Um, looks like a shot key. I don't know what this thing was. It got torn off when I opened this thing up. Um, but on top of this, uh, was a transformer. So this transformer laid on top of this thing and then it got epo epoxied together. And so you can see here, it has def definitely has multiple, multiple windings. It has, um, different colors here, at least three different colors, right? It's got green, blue, red, and, oh, it's got four. It's got the copper, the, the green, the blue, and the red. So. Yeah, multiple turns here. So um, probably some of those turns are to uh, get it to oscillate. And one of these oscillates and uh, uh, takes the DC, converts it to AC. And um, the other one just keeps it oscillating. So that's the two transistors. And then this might be, uh, this Mason one might be a Shockey diode. I mean, a, a Zener diode. This would be the Shockey diode to, to rectify it back to DC. And having a transformer design, you can separate the grounds. And so it's isolated between the two. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. I can flip it over. Uh, you can sort of see the imprints of certain parts of the circuit were imprinted uh, into this little piece of plot you can see a hole missing there one of these components fits in there <laughs> um so yeah um i think q2 is actually in here somewhere in in this ep epoxy uh, uh epoxy blob this blob of stuff um so yeah um there's not a lot in here it's not um anything but just an inverter whatever voltage in is what 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 the voltage is out probably uh i, I don't know if that's an actual zine or not it might just be whatever the voltage is is the voltage out it's just a one-to-one -one transformer and uh there you go um let's see here if i go down on this one again if i turn this board over there is a couple more components on the back uh there we go and yeah, part numbers R1 and R2, BS, B5A. There you go. Um, interesting. 